Who's hungry? It's Marco D'Angelo with this week's Sandwich Shop video. All right, guys, we're going to take a look at some games this weekend that fit sandwich situations. You know I give out a sandwich game of the week every week on Wager Talk's Bet On It show, but every week I'm looking, there are several candidates that were up for that particular play. I'm going to share some of them with you here on this video. Let's start with the first game. Virginia Tech and Stanford. Now, if you watch the show Bet On It, you know this is the game we used there. And the reason for it was we are going against Stanford. Stanford's coming off of back-to-back -back East Coast trips, traveling from California to play at Clemson and at uh, Syracuse, back-to-back -back weeks. They played Syracuse two weeks ago, Clemson last week. Now they're back home to face Virginia Tech. But the problem here is after playing Clemson last week, they got Notre Dame on deck next week. This is a bad spot for them. I think Virginia Tech gets the job done. Virginia Tech is the sandwich play. Second game I'm going to tell you about is look at Louisiana Monroe. They're playing host to James Madison. James Madison's off back-to-back -back blowouts, including that game against North Carolina when they hung up 70 to come back and put up 63 last week. But the problem here is this is a flat spot for James Madison as they've got Coastal Carolina on deck next week. Uh, take a look at Louisiana Monroe plus the points there. Next one we're going to take a look at is Southern Mississippi. And this is a bad spot for Louisiana in this game. They're coming off a huge upset. They played Wake Forest last week, playing a Power 5 conference. Granted, Wake Forest is not one of the premier teams, but it is a premier conference, the ACC, and they pulled that upset on the road. Now they're playing again this week and playing Southern Miss that's going to be easy to look past because they've got Appalachian State on deck. We're going to go ahead and take a look at Southern Mississippi plus the points. Now, guys, um, going to give you a bonus sandwich game in the NFL uh, here on this video. But before I do, if you made it this far, I hope you liked the video. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. You want to make sure you never miss a video, hit the subscribe button. It's free. You'll be notified when we have a video. Also, guys, leave me a comment. I like to hear what you like, what you want to see in these type of videos. I read the comments. I'll answer you guys back and I really appreciate the interaction with you guys. Speaking of interaction, if you want to get my plays this weekend, we've got a special offer going at Wager Talk. It's site-wide. You can get any capper, but you can pick up a seven-day all-access subscription for $77. That includes every single play that I release over a seven-day period. And yes, that does include 5% plays. My 5% plays are 3-0 and this football season, and they're 11-2 and going back to February. Those plays sell for <clears throat> $35 by themselves. You get it included in a seven-day all-access package. All right, let's get to that final play and look at an NFL game. And that sandwich game is early Sunday morning. It's the Jets in Minnesota over in uh, London. This is a spot here that Green Bay is just in, uh, excuse me, Minnesota is in just a bad spot. They're coming off that Green Bay game. Big game for them. That was the statement game, the first division game uh, against the, one of the teams that people expect to contend for uh, the division, and they ended up beating Green Bay on the road. That was a big win for them. Now they're heading to London to play the Jets. The big part of this is the game after this. Now, granted, they get a bye week after the trip to London, so that's a little bit of the asterisk here, but after this game, they do play the Detroit Lions. So this game is sandwiched between two monster NFC North division games for them. I'll be honest with you. If this game was not in London, which makes it a different parameter, uh, I and was a normal Sunday game, would have a big play on the Jets in this setup. But just wanted to point this situation out to you so you could tread lightly. And remember, guys, when I give you these plays, not necessarily saying that it is an absolute play. I'm giving you the situation why it's 
to be concerned with the team that's in the sandwich. If I save you a loss, that's better than me giving you a winner. And I know you're scratching your head. Why? Well, if I give you a winner, you make one unit. If I save you a loser, I saved you 1.1 unit because you got to pay the juice. So a saving a loser is better to your bankroll than giving you a winner. Hey, I hope you enjoyed these videos. I like doing them for you. I uh, want to see you guys make money. Uh, and if you want to make some money with me, take advantage of that seven-day all-access package. I'll be back with you guys next week with another Sandwich Shop video. The deli is open, guys.